Hi and welcome to this Landworks CAD tutorial. My name is Sidra and today I am going to show you how to use templates in Landworks CAD. The templates in Landworks CAD are simple CAD files. They can serve as a guide or a starting point for a new CAD document. So the only difference between a simple CAD file and a template is how you open it. So if you click on file and you click on open, you will be opening a simple CAD file. If you click on file and click on new from template, you will be opening that file as a template. So let's see what happens when I click on new from template. This folder opens up that is called the template drawings. This folder is placed in Landworks CAD folder. If we double click on this folder, we will be able to see all the templates that exist in Landworks CAD. All of these templates are simple CAD files. As you can see that these are different kinds of templates with different paper sizes and scales. So this 50, 100, 200, these are scales. So it really depends on your requirement. What kind of template do you require? So right now, let's say I want to make a drawing and print it out on an A3 size paper sheet and I need the scale to be 1 by 200. So I'm going to select this template. So if I double click on this template, it's going to open up in front of me. Now, in order to see if there is something else in this template, I will go to window and click on tile and I will be able to see that there is a layout that exists in this template. So we don't have to insert a layout ourselves. It's already been inserted and the working space has already been set. The print scale is 1 by 200 and the scale of the layout is 1 by 200 as well. So anything we draw within these reference lines is going to be shown in the layout view. So I'm just going to show you an example. So let's say that I'm drawing this box here. And if I right click, you will be able to see that this whole box is visible inside the layout. Why? Because it's within these reference lines. If I draw something outside of these reference lines, for example, let's say if I draw a box that starts from here and then ends inside the reference lines. Right click. So as you can see, only this part of the box is visible. So the reason why you can't see the part that is outside of the reference lines is because your layout view does not show it. You will be able to see it if you zoom out the viewport a little bit. So you can do that by just double clicking on this dot here and then changing the scale to let's say 500 and clicking OK. So you will be able to see it once the viewport has been zoomed out. As you know that this is a template, we can actually make changes or personalize this template and save it as a CAD file. So let's say, let's imagine that maybe I'm going to make a lot of drawings in which I'm going to use similar things. For example, the same title sheet, the same plants and the same color palette, the same layers. I can actually personalize that template and then save it. So instead of starting the drawings from scratch, I can reuse all the things that I've already made just by opening that file as a template. I'm going to show you how to do this so that you will understand my point better. So for the beginning, I'm just going to move this outside here. As you know that we can't see the text or these reference lines inside the layout view. That is because these objects are placed on layer number 999, which is hidden in this layout. If I just double click on this viewport point, you will be able to see in the layer table that layer number 999 is invisible. So if you want something to be invisible in the layout view, you can actually place it on layer number 999. So for now, I'm just going to click on cancel and then I'm going to fix the scale that I changed before to 200. Click OK. Now I'm going to remove these objects that I created. Now let's say that I want to personalize this template. So I'm going to select the layout and then I'm going to go to the color palette and I'm going to make it black in color. So I'm going to select the black color, click OK. And now I'm going to change the thickness of the lines as well. I'll make it 0.18 and I'm going to click OK. Now I can double click on this text and change it to CAD International. Click OK. 
I can move it at a side and I can insert a logo over here. So if I go to this option that says attachment and then click on the scaled image, I will be able to see this picture of a house. So that is just an example. I can insert it here. So if I click from the lower left corner and drag it up to the upper right corner, I will be able to insert that image. I'm going to right click and I'm going to move this one here. I can quickly add the address of the company as well and I'm going to move it under CAD International to align it. So this is my title sheet. And now I can just insert a few plants over here that I will be using a lot in the next coming drawing. So I will click on this option insert proposed plant and I can actually change the diameter. Let's say I'm going to use 3000 diameter. So I'm just going to select this plant and click on one point and click here. And then I can insert any other plant as well. For example, this one and maybe another one. I'm just going to right click. So I can insert this one as well and I can insert any other one. Let's say this one, a simple one. So these are the plants that I can use anytime. Instead of inserting from the database, I can just click on the plant and then press control and I can just move it over here. Now I'm just going to delete this one. I can actually insert components as well. So if I click on this components option and click on this option here, I will be able to see the components in C, Users, Public, Landworks CAD and click on Components and I will be able to select any kind of component that I want. For example, let's say cars. Just to show the driveway, I can insert a car. So click here and then click OK and see there's a car attached to my cursor. So I can just put a car here, right click. I can make this car bigger in size. I can just zoom in. If I click on the car, I will be able to make it bigger in size. So select the size that you would be using in all the drawings. Right click. I can also insert a pot. Select this option. Click here. Click OK. And I can change the size while inserting this component. So I'm just going to click and the pot will be inserted. Now I can actually change the color palette as well. That palette is going to appear in all the files. So if I just go up the color that is zero, I can change it to black. So I will select black from here and click apply and click OK. I can change the layers as well. So if I go here, I will be able to change the name of the layers. If I don't want this one, I can just rename it by making it text. If I don't want the rest of the layers in my drawings, I can just click, put a space instead, click again, put a space. So this is how I can make any kind of changes in this CAD file and use it as a template. So as you can see that my template is kind of ready. I can also insert a legend here on the right side. Now as you can see that the legend has been inserted, it's time for me to save my template. As we already know that whenever we open a CAD file by using this option new from template, a copy of that template is open. So this right now is a copy of the template that I opened and that is why it is untitled because it hasn't been saved yet. So I'm going to click on file and click on save. I'm going to give it a name, for example, template underscore cat international. And I'm going to click on save. Now this template has been saved with all the other templates in the templates folder. Now if I try to open this CAD file as a template, I'm going to click on file and then click on new from template. Now this template drawings folder has been opened and now I'm going to look for my file here. So that would be somewhere around here. I'm going to double click on it. So I have opened the drawing that I created but it has been opened as a template. And as you can see again, this file is again untitled. So Landworks CAD has opened this file as a copy of that template. We can make any kind of changes in this copy and save it as our own CAD file. So I hope you understood the concept of templates. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. If you have any kind of questions, please feel free to comment on the video as well. I will be waiting for your comments. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.